Hello once again and thank you for joining me in this series where we are doing web design. We are at the beginner section. The previous video we stopped at configuration of WordPress. I took you through how WordPress, how you can navigate WordPress actually. So today I'm going to take you through the installation of uh, and starting to design, you know, installation of plugins and then uh, the beginner section of just doing the design. So I'm going to log into the site, it is chr.so. In your case, it can be your domain slash wp hyphen admin. So if you just do that, it will be able to bring you to this particular website where you'll be requested to log in your credentials as I did previously. We already did the credentials. You can see from my end here, my credential here, the username. I'll copy the username and then I'll go to the window and then section for username, paste it there. Go back to Word, copy the password, I'll select it and then copy and then go back, paste it over there. Then just log in, it will take you there. You can save it if you want to remember it or you can just do that. Now we have the dashboard here. As you can see, it's still clean. As we said the previous one, we did the screen options. We removed those unnecessary notifications. So we'll go to the plugins. Uh, the first time I'll, I'll, we want to install a couple of plugins. But before that, I want to take you to see this is the design that we have at the moment. We, 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 we want to, when you load, you can see that it, it actually looks like this with its default uh, style styling. We want to put this website, first of all, first of all, you want to put this website on, on maintenance mode and maintenance mode allows us to have that domain. But when visitors come to that particular website, they are greeted with a landing page that says website is under maintenance or website is under construction. So that it doesn't expose the, the progress of whatever you're doing. And by doing so, you'll be able to, to work without people knowing actually what you're doing and then when you're finished now you can publish the website the entire theme the entire design that you have done to the public so by doing that we we'll go to the plugins and then we look for a plugin that that we want to use and for me i use a plugin called maintenance so that one is the one that i usually use and then there's another 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 uh, another plugin that i also do it's called light speed cache so our website is running on Lightspeed server. So we are going to also install that Lightspeed cache, as you can see, this one. So this is just installation of plugins. This is how you install plugins. So after that, we'll go to the plugins section and then we will we will activate them. Uh, there's another plugin that I want to add, which is this classic editor. Unfortunately, I think, I think there, there's an error that we saw previously. I just want to see whether it's going to work right now. The error that we saw previously, which is uh, the PHP, PHP error. You remember that PHP in the previous. So it doesn't allow me to install uh, this particular plugin. If you encounter this issue, I'm going to show you how to actually navigate and fix that in, in, in a few minutes. So we have uh, plugins, we just need to activate them. So activate the plugins. So we've already done installing the maintenance. You see down there we have maintenance. If you select that button, that option on the lower left corner, you'll see that maintenance. It has the premium versions. I'm not going to pay for any of those because again, this is a tutorial. <laughs> so if you want to do that, you can do. But you'll see it has to be on own. So that you can be, if you check now from another, if anybody visits and tries to load in, it will be telling them website is on maintenance mode so they cannot see anything beyond this end unless they have the login credentials then they can be able to see which is here so username and password if they don't have that um, they are just so and this one is helpful because it makes you work on the design until you have finished doing it then you can be able to remove that plugin deactivate it and then everything will be fine so then we will go to L, L, Envato Elements. This is where we get our themes from. We are, you can subscribe on this. It's a really, really amazing website for you to get these things. It does a lot of things. Envato Elements. We have, then you go to the section for WordPress and then we have health. Or you can, if you are doing any other like 
business, you write corporate, and then you do those things. And then you go to template kits. So if whichever design you're doing, you just go to WordPress and then select uh, health or corporate or organization like charity or legal for lawyers, you know, hospitals. You just write anything that looks from the niche of the work that you're working, you, you, you're actually designing for. So I will scroll, so we scroll and then look for a design that looks good, a design that actually meets our, 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 our clients, our clients' expectation. They are very amazing template kits here. The reason I'm taking template kits is because when you take themes, sometimes themes, they come with a lot of plugins and those plugins, some of them are premium. So if you get those plugins, one thing is that plugins, too many plugins in the website makes your website to be slow. So I saw another design up here that looks a little bit nice. It's better, it's good, it's... And when you look at these things, this one, this purple is this purple, like, it's very simple, it looks nice. And remember, all these colors that you see here, we are going to change it. By the end of this series, we'll be able to customize this theme to whichever color that you want to customize it. And then you see, we have a couple of plugins that you have to do that. But before that, let's first see how the theme looks like, how the template kit actually looks like. So we have, um, it's loading. This is actually very nice. You can see how the gradient color flows very smooth from purple to transparency. And you see the menu bar up here, where you see the menu, home, doctors, the one you said. Uh, these are the pages actually. When we talked about pages, when we are doing uh, a navigation in WordPress, this is what we talked about. Pages, they are here, they appear up there. We see there is a form here, uh, which is also looking for, you know, contacts you can put there. And then you have the services that this medical facility is actually offering. And then below here, you have mission and values and all those kind of things. This can be taken from the profile of the organization. Then down here have testimonials and different other things. The specialists, um, another form yet, it's down here. Then the pricing section, you can see. It's really amazing, it's nice, and I know we cannot be able to use every feature that we have in this, but we are going to remove some of them so that we only remain with what we want. There's another, uh, these four plugins are essential for the design to actually be able to be customized. So you must get those from the plugins. So you have to come and install, and I believe this will maybe we'll have a challenge again. Because we did not install classic editor, let's see whether we can install Elementor. If it's not going to work, I'll show you shortly how we can, we can be able to fix that kind of a problem. Because if you don't update your PHP, it usually brings challenges. So these are the, some of the few things that you should be able to know how to, when you, to fix. See, Elementor is saying, your PHP needs updating because it's actually an old version of PHP that it's running on this. So I'll show you shortly how we can be able to update that PHP to the latest version so that you can be able to install this, this particular plugins and work with them. I've found a way to fix it, which is just updating the PHP version when you come to your host, uh, the C panel, and then you come to uh, PHP selector, you you know, because it was 7.3. So if you put 7.3 back, and then you go back to your website, and then you try to reload, it will bring you the error like this. Your PHP is not, you know, your PHP is outdated. So even if you install that Elementor, it is not going to work. So it will tell you that the PHP is outdated. So what do you do? You have to just come back there, and then find the PHP selector, and then update from that to this version of 7.4, and then apply. So once you do that, you have already fixed the problem, and you can be able to reload, as I said, and then your Elementor Pro and Elementor plugins will be there. As I said, how you install plugins is just coming, add new plugin, and then, like, Classic uh, editor, which is very important, we need to have it. So just select install, and then it will start installing. After it finishes installing, you do activate. 
So let's wait for it to finish installing. Now it's done installing, it's already installed. It will bring this button, just select update. Any other plugin you want, just come to the keyword here, search, the way we did for maintenance and light speed cache. So we've already installed Elementor and Elementor Pro. You can be able to buy Elementor Pro from the Elementor website, which is there. So now that we have Elementor Pro uh, and Elementor, let's go back to this uh, window here where we have to find this other element. This other plugin is called Elements Kit. Add new plugin. Now we are installing plugins that will be able to help us. Just paste it there and let it search. Elements Kit Lite. This one here, it has over a million installations. So active installations, over one million active installations. It tell you how many people are actually using this. So Elements, okay. Elements Kit, uh, okay, Kit Pack Add-ons. Element Pack Lite add-ons for Elementor. <laughs> So also do that, select it, and then paste it there so you can find it. And then all these plugins usually come with the unlimited elements for, I don't know which one is it now, for widget, add-ons, elements, okay, I will, elements pack, elemental add-ons, I believe this is it. Elements pack, elements pack, yeah, this one. So it has over 100,000 active installations. Then we have JEG Elementor Kit. These plugins, you know, you can see like those icons. You, you might not be able to have those icons uh, without installing this. So you, have, you must install these plugins, otherwise you're not going to get those premium premium features of Elementor. JEG Elementor Kit is good. Install it as well. And then the last one is called Metform. Metform, Metform. Metform, you remember the form that was on the home page of that website theme kit that we already have. I intend to download. It's being developed under Metform using this plugin. So you install the plugin and then you install the Kit. So this platform, it has over 300,000 installations. Now, after you have installed them, what you have to do next is activate those plugins. After activation of the plugins, oh, let me stay fast. Okay, now I can leave. <laughs> so after installation of the plugins, then you have to activate. So select activate, let it finish activating. Uh, let me just uh, skip first. I don't need to go to this. Go back to plugins. Select the ones that you want to activate. Select them. And then in this bulk actions, activate and then select apply. So these are the plugins that you need for that website, that theme kit to work. That theme kit to work. So now after we've, we've already installed the plugins, come and download the theme so I'm downloading the theme and it will come like this. So it's already in my downloads folder. It's here. But I don't want it to be um, uh, how, to be extracted. I want it to be zipped. So the best way that I did, I found out is by going, because for Apple users, once you download anything that is zipped, it automatically deletes that zip folder to the trash bin and then it does what? It extracts and you get the folder. So I'm going to, re, to remove it from the bin back to my downloads folder because I need it the way it originally should be from the downloads. I don't need to, it to be extracted and then I come and I compress it because when I compress it, I'm adding some features on it that are not going to be able to uh, function when I come to installing it here. So what I need now before I install the site, the, the, the element kits, I have to go back to Elementor and then go to the settings so that I get rid of the default settings that are on Elementor, meaning that I need to, by checking these two ticks, which shows that disable default colors and disable default fonts. 
when you disable that and save these changes, it means that you're not going to use the default uh, features. You will use the features from the template kit that you are downloading. So now that we've already done that, I'm going now to go back to my, my templates. Okay, let me go back to dashboard so that I can be able to see what needs to be done next. We have templates here. Below Elementor, you have templates. So just put your cursor there and then you'll see kit library. Select that kit library and then you'll be redirected to this. So this kit library is what comes with the premium. Uh, it comes with the element, I mean. So you have to come up here, uh, the fourth icon to the left on the right corner, which is showing upload. Now, the kit that you downloaded that was originally the way it's supposed to be, this is the one that you're supposed to drag it over here. So don't show this again, just continue. Let it upload. It usually takes a, mi a few seconds, even a minute. But after it does installs, so you continue to import, enable it. It will finish importing. And then you will have the kits already uploaded into your website. So you can be able to work on the design. You can customize the colors. You can customize everything, the details that you want to do. This is usually what I do. I download the template kit. I upload it here now because it's taking too much time. Let me just uh, fast forward this video so that you can be able to see the final result. So you can see it's already finished. Uh, you will see this surprise message. Your kit is now live on your site. Now just do the close. And then now that we already, we already have everything here, the next step is where we are going to use the design each page customize it to get our final design website that is coming to you in the next episode